welcome back to the haul. My name is Marvelous, and if you're new here, make sure you watch my last video, and also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna give you guys another clothing haul, but this haul is gonna be a little bit different because not only will I be showing you all the clothes, but I'm also gonna show you all where I get these clothes from. So if you wanna see that, make sure you stay tuned and watch to the end of this video. So without further ado, let me stop talking and let's get to this haul. So first I'm gonna show you guys all the shirts that I got, and then later on in this video, I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I got these shirts for the low, and I'm also gonna leave you guys some tips. So the first shirt I'm gonna show y'all today is this the Dale Jarrett shirt with the UPS logo all over the front and the back. And all these shirts have prints on the front and the back of the shirt. And that's the main reason why I really got these shirts. When it comes to graphic tees, I like pop-out pieces. And these are definitely giving me pop-out pieces. And so if you're looking for t-shirts that like make it look like you really tried but you didn't really do anything, these are the shirts for you, okay? And so the next shirt I have to show y'all today is this pink one. And this is just the pink tie-dye one. And the back of this one doesn't have like as much print, but it just has the number five on it. And this is just so cute. And I believe this shirt is custom made because I've seen someone else sell this in white. So the person I bought this from tie-dye shirts, a lot of racer tees. So they tie-dye like this one for me. You don't have to request it anything because they just tie-dye shirts and sell them. And like I said, I'll show you guys how I get these shirts. So make sure you stay tuned and watch to the end of this video. So the next shirt I have to show y'all today is this gray one. This one's my favorite out of all of them. It's just my favorite one. And this is just the Dale Jr. one, and this is in green and gray. And it just has the prints on the front and the back, as I said. And this one's in the extra large. And I forgot to mention the sizes of the shirts, which will be in the description box below. So make sure you always check that box because it will never be empty, okay? It'll never be empty. So make sure you check out that box. And the next shirt I have to show y'all is the cheapest one I got out of all the other shirts in this haul. And it's more simple than the other shirts, but it's still really nice in my opinion. And it's just this green one. But I still really like this shirt because it's not really too basic because it still has some type of prints on it. The last shirt I have to show y'all today is just this one I have on right now. And it's just a blue, white, and red one. And you also see on the side of the screen how I style it. So don't worry, okay? Okay, and this is the part y'all probably waiting for. So I'm going to show you guys how I get these shirts for the low, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to do is download the app Depop. Depop is an app where people resell items like vintage wear and street wear. And I also have a Depop account, which y'all are going to see. I'm going to show y'all. And it's also going to be in the description box below so you can purchase off of me. So the next thing you're going to do is go to the search bar and you're going to search up NASCAR t-shirt. That's the best thing to search up, NASCAR t-shirt. And these are the items that came up. But we are going to filter it today because what if it's not your size, right? So we're going to go to sizes and we're going to go to men's because most of these come in men's sizes. And I'm just going to select random sizes because it's just for the video purposes and then so after that we're just gonna go um filter the price because we're not filtering the brand and then so we're gonna filter the price to whatever budget price you're looking for so i just chose a random price and then we're gonna put items on sale so we don't look for stuff that are already sold and then, so these are the items that came up so far And then I was lucky enough to see something that was $17 too. So if it, if you put your budget at like $30, you're going to see something for even below that. So you'll find some good deals when you use the filter button. Okay, so let's say, for example, that you want to buy something that you found on Depop. This one's for example. And then you want to see if it's available. So you message the person with the um, DM button. And then you say, is it available? And then they say yes, then you're good to go. You can buy it. And if they don't answer you, don't buy it. So this is another example. So let's say you see something that you want to buy, but it's not really in your budget. So you can DM the person and say, is it available? Or can I get it for $20 or however much? And then this is an example. And then luckily he said yes, so I bought it. And I actually bought this one actually, y'all. But it doesn't always work that way. So for example, this guy did not accept my offer, which is okay. So I asked him, is it available? And I gave him an offer, but never lowball. I'm not telling you guys to go lowball. So I gave him an offer. I said, I don't remember how much I said it for because it's already sold now, but I'll show y'all anyways. So, oh yeah, I said $20. And then, so he said no, so which is okay. Whenever you want to buy anything on Depop, always make sure that you check the date that it was posted it's gonna say how many weeks ago so the, for example this guy did not post for several weeks so i made sure to um dm him and ask is it available and as you can see that he never answered me back which is a red flag so do not buy if they don't text you back and they haven't posted in that long okay so you follow the other steps and you found a lot of shirts you like but you're losing track of them so if you want to keep track of them you save it to a folder well not really a folder but you just hit the bookmark and then so you bookmark it and then that means it's going to be in your saved folder so every time you hit that bookmark button they're all going to be in this folder 
under saved. So like I just showed y'all and it's right there at the top. Okay, so when you want to buy something on Depop, it's a little more different than buying something elsewhere. So I'm, I'm going to add this to my bag, for example, and I'm going to add one more thing to my bag so it makes more sense since two things are in my bag. So I'm going to add this one to my bag as well. All right, now that both of it's in my bag, you can see the difference. So since they're from different sellers, it's not gonna check out at the same time so you're gonna have to check out twice which can be a big red flag for somebody who doesn't like that so if you don't like this make sure you do a bundle and so buy from the same seller and if you don't like that then you just gotta buy from two different sellers or you could also ask the seller for free shipping and usually when i buy something on depop it takes three to four days for shipping three to four days y'all and that's it for this video i hope some of you guys found this information helpful and if you have any other questions don't be afraid to hit me up on social media and ask me any questions i will respond to you as quickly as i can and I'll see you guys in my next video.